Hi guys, welcome to this video. And today's an update on my trip to Belgium where I met Johan and also what I brought back. And RJ had a most fantastic weekend. Well, four days, three nights. And it went so quickly, I don't know where the time went. Thank you, Johan, for being a perfect host, for driving me and picking me up from Numa where my mum and brother stayed, which is about 45 minutes drive north of him. It's the capital of Wallina, Wallina. Trying to get that out. For showing me the caves, for being great company, going to cut the other places. And as I said, looking after me it was unbelievable we did make some videos and this is what this other bit of this video is about we made six over two nights and one day the first night we didn't record a video the second night we recorded two at his house we did a review on the lucky strike unfiltered from America a random introduction to including a segment about Marlborough Southern Cut. A big thank you goes to the packs proper, James B, for sending me those American packs. We then went to the pub and found a secret smoking room. So RJ and Johan recorded another video. Fourth, no, on the third night, we recorded our fourth video which was again a total random talking about what we've done, been up to and I hope you enjoy the videos which we're both going to release over the next few days. Then came at around about quarter past 12 a totally random question and answer and at all six videos we made that is my favourite. RJ was very honest and mentioned everything from teeth through to glasses through to some dodgy videos I've made. All will be revealed on video number five. Video six was recorded 20 past 12 on Sunday just before I got in a car to go back to Numa. And that's introducing the holiday photos, which I took. If you haven't subscribed to Johan's channel, down in the description. He is an amazing guy. Last year, we had 10 hours together, and it wasn't enough time. This year, we had four days, almost. Okay, the first day I didn't get there till half past two and I left half past twelve on Sunday, so two whole days. And that wasn't really enough time. I didn't get to Luxembourg. Thank you, Johan, for shopping for me. That saves at least three hours. And also, of course, for going to Germany. Give me your advice on the best cigarettes and tobacco, which I could buy. Now, as you know, I've cut down. So this supply, what I've bought, is going to last me a bloody long time. So, don't all say, you meant to quit her. Excuse me, I spoke to my nurse, who's a specialist cancer nurse, and her words, and I quote her on this, we never ask any of our patients to quit unless they want to. We, we respect your decision to cut down, which I told her I had done. I was on 30 plus cigarettes a day. I am on seven or eight normally during the days around chemo, less than that. So when I told her that, she said, congratulations for cutting down, but we never ask you to quit 
if you're not comfortable with it. And that was from a cancerous. And for the record, also, I haven't been given any anti-smoking lectures. It seems to start with all the anti, or actually enlightened, but when you go to chemotherapy units, they know you're aware of the dangers and the risks, and they don't ram it down your throat. Okay, this clip's going to dissolve to the next one. This, and the next one is about the cigarettes I bought back from and tobacco. Then the final clip, I'll be showing you the beer I bought back. I'm not going to do beer reviews. Sorry this video is a little bit long. I just want to say I had a fucking amazing time. You're going to so enjoy the six videos me and Johan made. And... Enjoy part two. What's I brought back? Okay, guys. I brought various things back, including a couple of products I've never had before. And as you know, these used to be called B cigarettes before Belga, the cup of British American tobacco, took this independent to court, saying you've infringed our copyright. And because Belgas became Lucky Strikes, a crime destroying 92 years of Belgium's national cigarette. And you can see that's all that remains of the old Belga sign. This is a classy looking pack apart from the health one. So just imagine a B and the rest is history. I've had them before, but I've never had the tobacco. And I'm not going to do reviews while I'm having chemo, so you'll have to wait a couple months. I'm sorry about that. I am releasing reviews I've made before I started chemo, and there's eight of those. I'm also doing a lifestyle blog on my fight against cancer, and that's coming out every Friday, where I'll be giving you an update of what I'll be doing. I'm going to continue my lighter series, which you see from Zippos, but any you won't see me smoking on camera very often because if I'm on seven a day, I'm not going to waste my, one of my seven just to record it on camera very often. Okay, some overstows. I haven't had them for a long time. A big thank you. Again to Johan for going to Germany and get me this cigarette. St. Pauli from Germany. Marlboro without additives from Germany. And of course Marlboro Reds. Where this pack cost me five euros eighty in Belgium, which is around about five pounds, nine pound fifteen in the UK. A nice big pack of 25 camel yellows from Luxembourg cost six euros, sorry, five euros 65. So five pound for 25 cigarettes in Luxembourg. Some Salem six from Germany. Some camel natural flavor. Some camel orange. Some Peppy cigarettes from Germany. Pall Mall and from Belgium. Now, before you all say, if you're in the UK, Pall Mall is a fucking worst cigarette on the UK market. European ones are completely different. They are a good cigarette. Okay, not the best, but uh, one of the best cigarettes on the market. If you want to give your taste buds a change, some king size lucky strikes. I showed you the field, the short ones. Some L and M's. Some Johnson. 
B and H with our additives from Germany. Some Roth handle, unfiltered. From Germany. Camel tobacco and Marlboro tobacco. Costing 18 euros, I think. Yep, 18 euros for 190 grams in Luxembourg for the camel, and 11 euros 90 for 125 grams in Luxembourg for a small amount of Marlboro. Okay, on the goal was. I've got the blonde mental, never had them before. The good old brunes, unfiltered, and the blondes, no. An extremely rare pack. Thank you, Johan, for finding me these from France of a Marza mental. I have had the no ones, these, and thank you so much for finding them. Okay. F6 from Germany. David off. These cost you euros over £9.50 on the UK market. Some good old lucky strikes. The switch. But with that, additives. Some Fortuna Mental, some Bastos, some mixture of oat and some Lucky Strikes Reds. Finally, some tobaccos. Luckies, some Camel. Some Marlboro, some Schwarzer Kürzel, Kürzel, whatever that says, some Raw, Azure 17 Corsair and the Blonde, then Getting uh, Fleur de Pays number seven, the Czar Course, the Winston full flavour, and I stop dropping it, Vanel Red, some Japanese Junction's Darkening Sausage, Tembeko, some Darkening Scents. Dirk. and Sainton. Finally, I got some zigzag rolling papers, and that ends this segment of the video. As I said, I won't be making these reviews till after I finish chemotherapy. Sorry about the delay, as such. I'll be only making reviews on products I have not reviewed before to cut down the backlog. So some of these packs will have to wait a couple months before I open them. Not many because I've had tons of different cigarettes of, from the world. A big thank you goes to the pack swappers and thank you once again Johan for inviting me and we had an amazing time and Hope to see you in London in Mars, March, not Mars, wrong language, and I hope to get back to Answer Less in May. Okay, RJ got 24 different beers, and the next and last segment is just talking about said beers. So if you finish with the smoking, switch off now, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the series 
of six videos coming up. In, I hope you find my cancer vlog, which I've yet to think up a title. If anyone thinks of a title in the next 48 hours, or I can call my weekly vlog on my fight against cancer, please leave it in the comments. And enjoy the last segment. Okay guys, the beer segment. Last year, Joanne and I did a beer swap. As believe it or not, when we meet, we don't actually swap cigarettes. Yes, we, as such, is a, yes, we do it all year round. And I hope, and I'll bring selection for him. He went shopping for me, but it's essentially about meeting each other, enjoying uh, com each other's company, seeing places, chilling, having plenty of beer. But every time we meet, the second time we've done it, he g gives me a great selection of Belgian beer and I give him a great selection of English beer, which obviously is not on sale in each other's countries. So this is going to be just a short guide of what he got me. Now his local brewery is called Rockford and they do um, this one which is the Rockford 6 which is seven and a half percent and Rockford 8 which is 9.2 and if you really want to go to some a strong one I recommend 10 but only one per evening beer, as this comes in at a whopping 11.3%. We went to the Abbey, and you're going to see pictures from the outside, because it's not open to the public, in the troll log in video number 6, which Joanne and I made. He got some corny de bar de pendus, nice looking bottle and triple and that comes in at 10 percent yep belgian beer is fucking strong it's enough to put hairs on my chest okay there's le blanc de on which they sell in on Celeste. it's actually made down the road i've never had it before and that comes in at 6.3 percent so it's not made in the village, it's made, I think, about five miles away. Some goers are blonde. Some goers brune. And there are 8.1 for the brune and 6.3 for the blonde. And the amber. So Goldwars is the name for beer as well as cigarettes. And that's quite weak. That's only 5.5. On the Simi, that's another Trappist beer. I've got the Blonde, which is 4.8%. A different style blunt which is seven percent oh so that's cine shimmy with c h shimmy with c h that is the boon which is from the ab another abbey seven percent you have to try to get some trappy spear once in your life if you've never tried it I thoroughly recommend it and the monks do a bloody good job. And these is the blue one. And that is, I'm trying to see, 9%. And the triple one, which is 8%, that bottle there. A 
I've never had the Oma traditional blonde. I don't think so. That is 8%. Some Scotch Silly. Which is another 8%. Some Cambry. Amber, 6.5, so can have a cup of them. My favourite, the Waterloo, the Beer of Bravery. 100 years old centenary this year, and, sorry, 200 years old, and that's 8%. It's from Triple Camille, which, really nice looking bottle. 8.4 Quebec, which is another strong one, 8.4 Some Duvel, Triple Hoop Hop Limited Edition, which is 9.5 You never see this these in England While I was in, oh, in on Celeste, this became my favourite tipple of choice. Some Orvel. And that is 6.2. Some St. Louis. Which is 4.5. So the weakest one I've had in my selection. Some St. Monon. With a farmer and his pigs which is 8%. Some Super Des Fagnes Blonde, which is 7.5%. Uh, Some Hornet Borachic Beer Non-Filtered. I hope it's as good as I'm filled to script. It's 7.5%. So it's organic, basically. And my final one is the strongest one I've got from Belgium. It's Bush, 12%. He gave me a bottle last year, but my brother's birthday was coming up. And his nickname from school was Bush. So I felt sorry for him and gave that one bottle to him. This year though, sorry James, the bottle's for me. The reason he was called Bush was he had long curly hair, which was out to about there. He's had haircuts since, but that was his nickname at school. Okay, thanks for watching. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Sorry it's been long, as I said, What's coming up on this channel over the next few months is as follows. In the next 12 days, you're going to see the videos me and Johan made. And give each one of them a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out his channel down there. Number two, you're going to see my lighter series once the videos with Johan have finished. And that they'll be released one week. Thirdly, I made eight cigarette reviews before I started chemotherapy and those videos will be released to, at regular intervals over the next three months. Number four, I'll be doing my blog on a Friday. I'll be telling you how I'm feeling any side effects I've had, how I feel emotionally, and just a general update of what's happening in my life. And I want you guys to give those videos a two thumbs up. Thank you for all the support and love you have shown me on here, and Facebook messages, 
My Facebook page is down in the description also. You guys are the best. Thank you so much, Johan, for making those four days the happiest, uh, or one of the happiest holidays, if not the happiest holiday I've ever had. I've really enjoyed them. I can't wait to see you again next year. Thank you for all your support and advice you have given me for looking after me. I'd like to thank your parents for their hospitality, welcoming me into their home, and also to his dog, Chestnut, who's absolutely gorgeous and he's my new best, second best Belgian friend. And he likes the Englishman. Anyway, this has been a bloody long video. I'm out of breath, as in my voice is going, help. Give it video, this is video a thumbs up. And enjoy the series of videos I'm making with Johan and give each one of them a thumbs up as well. Stay lit guys and thank you for watching.